G.I. Joe fans, show motion videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And again, I want to apologize for not having this review out. The app that I'm using has been screwing up left, right, forwards, and backwards. So I'm hoping that this is the final take of this review. I've shot five videos so far of this same review. So, um, I don't want to see this action figure anymore. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to see him anymore. I love it. It's a great action figure, but I just don't want to see it. I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> so, I do it for you guys. You, you deserve it. So, Today we're going to be looking at the 1993 Long Arm version 1. There was a version 2 that came out in 2008. Uh, I couldn't get his picture to upload, so I am sorry about that. A uh, very beautiful action figure. Uh, he is all green with splashes of black on him. Very nice military looking figure. Uh, so, when he came out in 93, he was part of the 12 series. Uh, was originally retailed at $399. Uh, he was supposed to have been a part of DEF. But Hasbro, for some reason, eliminated that line. And they still had the action figures, but it wasn't released as DEF. So instead, he was carded here in the States or I should say North America, as um, Battle Corps. But in Australia, he was still released as DEF. Uh, but I have a very weird story about this. Uh, I don't know if it's a factory error, as I have been getting factory, I have gotten factory errors in the past. Uh, one particular was Snake Eyes version 3. He came with two swords instead of the blowgun. Uh, but I clearly remember purchasing this guy uh, with the DEF card. Even though YoJo.com says that it was not sold as DEF here in the States or in North America. Um, uh, but I know that it was a DEF card unless I somehow slipped into a parallel universe Ooh uh, but I, I do remember that and I bought him because of that reason because I liked the DEF line I liked what it stood for and um yeah, uh, that's that's why I, I, I got him. Uh, this is mine from my childhood. So, you know, I'm not saying that yojo.com is always correct. You know, there are things that they still don't know about. This is still a learning process for everyone. But um, they are pretty accurate. So, it, it's just weird that I, I remember that, seeing that on DEF. And my camera is winking out. I don't know why. Hope that comes through. Um, but anyway, yeah, I per had this since I was in my senior year of high school. It's in, in very good condition. I um, just opened it, took a look at it, threw it in a box. My kid brother is seven years younger than me. He would play with G.I. Joe still, he and the neighbors, or mainly his Ninja Turtles. He, he loved Ninja Turtles. So, yeah, that's where we stand on, on that. Uh, uh, I w had a job all through high school from my sophomore year up until my senior year. I was working for a store called Coach House Gifts. Um, they were co-partnered with um, Hallmark, so we had a big Hallmark section. But Coach House sold a little bunch of little knick knickknacks and tchotchkes, uh, you know, figurines, 
you know, Mary's Moo Moo's, uh, Precious Moments, Boyd's Bears, those were really hot. Uh, we sold little carousels and stuff like that. So I always had a little bit of money. Um, I only worked 20 hours a week since I was a minor and still in school. And, uh, you know, I made 60 bucks every two weeks. It wasn't all that much. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was enough to you know, let me go out on dates and uh, go to dances and whatnot and buy G.I. Joe. So I, I enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, working at that store. They're unfortunately no longer around. Uh, the last time I saw one was back in 95 and that was in Arkansas. I lived in uh, Springdale, Arkansas for a time as well as Tulsa, Oklahoma. So neither here nor there about G.I. Joe but I, I just like to share those little tidbits. So yeah he was supposed to be DEF but um, was released with Battle Corps. He was number 31 of 38. Why they numbered it, I don't know. You're supposed to get them. You're not supposed to buy them in any particular order, but that's what they did. So let's go ahead and take a look at this action figure. He is pretty decent. Uh, I know some of you aren't fond of bright colors, but uh, you know me, I like the bright colors. I'm a underdog guy, so let's take a look at this dude. Alrighty, here he is, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I shouldn't just say man. Oh, this is long arm. My boy. Oh, first thing. Boom, he's orange. Looks like somebody threw up Halloween candy. It is, he is just cool. I really like the sculpt on him. You could customize him to whatever you want. A good friend of mine, New Jersey Ed, painted his black. Looks very sharp. Let's look at his accessories first and foremost. He had two guns. And I had it, I should have put him away last night, but my little brat cat, Mickey, he stole it and I cannot find it anywhere. I'll have to look under my bed, I guess. A little turd. So, here is one of his guns. Very nice looking gun. I, I like this. I think this one originally came out with, uh, oh, is it Grunt version 1? If you know any different please let me know um, I could I have grunt version 1 or version 2 I'm sorry grunt version 2 uh, but all of his accessories are gone uh, it looks like it has a collapsible stock on it uh, this generic lazy looking handle no detail on it or grip no trigger guard or trigger it has a magazine uh, vented barrel shroud uh, this looks like it's a gas tube to help um, eject the shells. Nice little uh, scope on it. Great detail on this, despite the bright red colors. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Oh, came with two identical missiles, a knife. Not really necessary, but you know the 90s. They just threw accessories on there. Uh, pretty cool looking knife. I, I like it. Didn't I wouldn't have played with it much if I were younger. Came with the shield on his rocket launcher. And the rocket launcher is pretty generic. Uh, the slot, the missile end bevel side down. The little bevel here, the little notch. Push it in there. And let's see if it still fires. Yes. Has a good spring in it. And that's something that I really like about these 90s missile launchers. The springs last forever, seemingly. Uh, it, um, it's a, a cool, cool little feature. Now, if I would have had these in the 80s, I would have loaded them all, lined up my Joes, and shot them down with the missile launchers. Just for target practice. That's how I played with them. 
uh, sometimes. Oh, and his other accessory is this nice helmet with a clear blue face shield here on the back. Try not to get a, a glare from the light. Uh, but you can see it, very nice sculpt on it. This is supposed to be the air hose that helps him breathe a little bit. Uh, this is a real world bomb suit for the, um, that the bomb squads and the military uses to defuse bombs. Uh, this box right here is a, a climate control regulator for the suit and I'm sure soldiers and the police would really love to have this to be climate controlled. It comes with two baseball grenades and two pineapple grenades sculpted on there. Oh, pretty cool. What is G.I. Joe without slapping grenades on an action figure? Oh, he has a pouch here on his left arm. And if you could see that, he has armor plating on both boots. Around the back, he, ha of course, has this really high collar to protect him from the rear. His helmet, uh, let's look at his face. Very nice looking guy for a, an action figure. Nice face sculpt. Jet black hair that's slick back. Helmet snaps on, stays on really well. I mean, this dude could be an astronaut too. Uh, why they didn't use him for Star Brigade, I do not know. Uh, but baseball grenades, if you don't know, the reason why they were called that is when they were invented um, during World War II or prior to World War II, they wanted it to be the same size and shape of a baseball. Theory behind it was what American boy has not thrown a baseball? So they wanted the troops to be familiar with the feel of it and know how to handle it without any problems. So outside of his garish colors, which I actually do like, um, it, it's a great action figure all in all. And after all in all, all of a sudden, Pink Floyd popped into mind. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. Here's the Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry Pepsi today. Um, down to two of these a day. My cardiologist wants me to cut back in caffeine. It's tough. It is tough. Uh, I do not have his file card, but I did look it up. So, I cannot pronounce his last name, despite how many times I've practiced it. Uh, I'll spell it. It's M-A-N-G-I-A-R-A-T-T-I. -T -T Mangiorati, I guess. Ratty. Um, I'm sorry if that is your last name. Um, sorry that I butchered it. Um, what's with the camera winking out? So, his first name is Thomas, middle initial P. Serial number 69428LIK4, very creative. Grade is E4, from Boulder Creek, Colorado. Primary specialty initial, uh, initial assault, secondary offensive technician. Motto. The 90s added mottos. No, it's silly. Uh, if you grew up in the 90s and played with G.I. Joe in the 90s and that was your first exposure to them, these file cards are very normal. Us that lived in the 80s and started collecting, the file cards are much different, as you guys know now. So those are our file cards, and these are the file cards for the 90s uh, kids. So his motto is, I'm always the first one into the firefight, but wouldn't have it any other way. Does that sound like a motto to you? does sound like a motto to me. Um, a motto would be first in the firefight or don't eat yellow snow. Something like that. That's a motto. But that is more of a, a quote or a statement. So the file card continues. When the time comes to hit evil, co 
the Evil Cobra Empire and hit them hard. The first strike always comes from Long Arm. It's in capital letters, I'm sorry. Uh, he has a reputation for being the first man in and the last one out. He kicks doors off their hinges, pinches babies, and teases kittens. He charges right in to um, capture headhunters, but he's got to keep a sharp eye out for crossfire because while he's shooting while they are shooting at him from the front the battle corps team is blasting their way from behind so this dude runs in without any support but it's explained in the file card that's a little foolhardy to me normally they run go in in a chain one takes one position you know and they spread out but there never one guy in there by himself oh uh, talk about being sandwiched between a rock and a hard place if he wasn't so fast he would be lunch meat this dude is quick he can dodge bullets he can move faster than 3200 feet per second he is storm shadow snake eyes super trooper the flash and a jedi all rolled into one this man is the ultimate warrior quicker than a greased ninja that's why he's always in by himself and the last one out because he won't ever get shot he is so quick you gotta buy this action figure man you gotta buy him he's important he's fast he could take on the whole Cobra army all by himself, wipe them out, set charges, and be out before Cobra even knows he's there. <sighs> Another thing on these these um, file cards is the accessories are numbered. So it has them listed 1 through 8 on this one. So, number 1, folding climate controlled enclosure helmet with a shatterproof face shield. Number two, two XJT baseball grenades. Didn't mention the pineapple grenades at all. Yeah, they did, never mind. Uh, number three, computer controlled co uh, suit climate regulator and face shield defogger. That's the box on his chest. Two pineapple grenades, easy access ammo pouch. Where's that ammo pouch at? Did you see it on the action figure? Was it up on his shoulder? That didn't look like an ammo pouch to me. Looks like that only hold a few rounds. Uh, blast resistant first strike battle suit that also protects him his first strike man if he does get hit the first strike battle suit will stop the bullet missile launching mega blaster with shield mega blaster this is a mega blaster I had a mega blaster all these years since 1993 and I didn't know it was a mega blaster you have to go out and buy, if anything, buy the Mega Blaster. You have to have, it's a Mega Blaster of all things. It's not just a missile launcher. Uh-uh. It's a Mega Blaster. M-E-G-A-B-L-S-L-A-S-T-E-R. Mega Blaster. Mega Blaster. You got to buy it. Buy it now. There's only one out there, one Mega Blaster right now. Buck 99, you'll find it. Byron's Gripes, Mega Blaster. Buy it. So, that's the file card. If I would have known it had Mega Blaster in there, I would have done the file card first. So, now it's on to my favorite segment Byron's Gripes. Thank you very much. So, if you're just looking for this action figure by himself, there aren't very many of them out there. Uh, no accessories. Is fourteen fifty to seventeen ninety nine, and the one for seventeen ninety nine does not have a helmet, and the helmet to me is the act part of the action figure. It's not an accessory. I see it as a, a fixed attachment because he's really not much without the helmet in my opinion. So $17.99 is very high uh, in my opinion on that. Uh, Mint and package deal of the day on this one, 
There are two more that are mint. One is 43, not too bad. And the other is $75. Boy, you go, oh, 75 bucks? Really, dude? Come on, man. I mean, just because it says G.I. Joe, it doesn't make it expensive. I say that in every review. For the, those of you just joining, uh, I only use eBay. Because there are so many other sites out there that sell G.I. Joe. This segment would take forever, so I, for simplicity, I just use eBay. I'm not picking on eBay, nor the sellers. This is just meant to be a fun part and an educational part of the review uh, it helped me when I first started collecting to know what a decent price was. It's, a lot of times I paid more than what the action figure was really worth uh, when I was starting out. So uh, I started doing this to help you guys who are just starting out and collecting to know what a decent price is. This accessories on a tree still, $8.99. And that's a bit high, but you know what? I would buy it just for the nostalgia of the tree, and I would not take them off. Yeah, the the accessory trees were lazy, and they're kind of lame. But I didn't really realize this until I was doing my review that the accessory trees help prevent theft. Think about it. You ever come across an action figure? that was opened and all the accessories were gone. It happened a lot. Uh, I bought a metal head where his main missile launcher fit on his back. That It was stolen, but I didn't realize it until I got home. I had never seen metal head before and it was the last time I saw him, so I'm glad I did buy him. Uh, but yeah, the, the main missile launcher was missing uh, I had purchased him from Kmart uh, back in 89. I was with my friend Charlie Saunders. We we wrestled together. Uh, we were... His mom was getting her car serviced at... Uh, in the service center at Kmart when they still had the service center. So he and I were in there shopping. And uh, we went back to the electronics department to look at tapes and CDs, and we heard the uh, sound of cracking plastic, and we looked around the corner and we saw this kid sitting down on the floor unwrapping uh, cassette tapes and putting them in a case, uh, obviously attempting to steal them, so we reported him and we got the pleasure of seeing him get arrested. So I'm thinking it was the same little schmuck that was stealing the tapes that possibly stole the, the missile launcher. But you never know. Just speculation. But yeah, that was neat. Caught a shoplifter. So continuing on, uh, his accessories that are loose, $14.95. That is very expensive for his accessories. Uh, it annoys me that people are pricing you so high, but I am starting to notice a trend of some sellers marking their their toys down because they're not selling as fast. Uh, his shield, uh, selling for $299. File card, this is spot on. I'll put this with deal of the day as well. $350 to $499. Those are the average prices for file cards, depending on the popularity of the action figure. Like Scarlet version 1, Snake Eyes version 1, um, Storm Shadow. The more popular figures, those file cards are, are selling for a lot more. Oh, his guns, $150 to $3. That's average. Uh, full card back. I love a full card back. I'm starting to collect those slowly because I would eventually like to have one wall just decked out all in file card or um, in card backs. It looks really sharp that way. Uh, the full card back is five ninety nine. His figure stand buck seventy five. His Mega Blaster missile launcher one ninety nine. There's only one out there. Get it now because it is a Mega Blaster. Get it seriously. 
how can you be a dyed in the wool true blue through and through GI Joe collector without a mega blaster get it this is mine you can't have it if you come over I'll let you play with it but no nope. missile launcher buck 99 and missile buck 99 those are the average prices for for those didn't see the knife probably the easiest lost accessory uh, so again thank you guys for tuning in I really appreciate it appreciate everybody who's been subscribing uh, thanks a huge thanks to Vinny C for sending me those awesome action figures check out my um, unboxing that I did the other day uh, incredibly generous of you Vinny I, I can't stop admiring them get a kick out of the, the Kellogg's lifeline um, is what it what is a Kellogg? That's true, without having a, a Kellogg cereal lifeline. So, uh, definitely going to keep him in the package, keep him the way he is. Uh, also, uh, if you guys would like to send something to support the channel, uh, no way are you obligated. Um, please don't feel like you should, but it will be appreciated and you'll be listed as a channel supporter. Uh, my address is down in the description along with my email uh, my Facebook messenger is messing up so if you want to contact me please email me um, I'm ha I don't know what's going on Facebook is looking into it uh, as well as I'm on coffee have a coffee account set up that addresses uh, the email or the website whatever you want to call it is down at the bottom in the description as well if you want to leave a tip that will also put you in with um, channel supporter that money will go to buy more toys to be reviewed and to be given away uh, when I reach 500 subscribers I will be holding a giveaway if you look at my other giveaway reviews you will or uh, videos you will see that it is nothing cheap I give I won't give away something that I wouldn't keep for myself so uh, I, I do that because I really appreciate you guys. This is my way of really thanking all of you for uh, being such wonderful people, being very supportive of me during uh, some of my health scares. Uh, you guys are great. I love you all. You're my friends. I, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, also, leave me a comment. I do answer back. I love reading those comments. Uh, getting some good banter going back and forth at times uh, it's, it's a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed this review if you did please give it a thumbs up please share this video and subscribe uh, the thumbs up I recently learned or actually paid close attention to by uh, uh, YouTube they they watch these videos everybody's video to make sure we're still within the community guidelines and that um, you know we're not doing any copyright infringement or anything like that so uh, please go uh, just lost my train of thought had a midlife moment there uh, yeah thumbs up so uh, they do that helps me out quite a bit if you leave a thumbs down that's fine too I take that as constructive criticism it helps me to it lets me know I have to try just a little bit harder and this channel is always growing it's always growing and I'm looking for ways to improve it and that's it guys thanks again for everybody subscribing and watching uh, don't forget to be kind to everybody especially be kind to animals they just they're so innocent and so sweet and know nothing but unconditional love you know give your dog or cat a hug you know, feed the wild animals, feed the birds, you know, just be kind. They appreciate it. So, this is Jill Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a fabulous day. Stay safe. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.